Records have been broken in the Perth housing market again. Now to find out how your suburb went, hang around to the end. But firstly, it took a median of 10 days to sell a property in June, which is the fastest time on record according to Reba.com data. Now demand remains strong and the properties continue to sell incredibly quickly, and that is all coming from Reba President Joe White. Now demand is being fueled by population growth along with more people turning to the established homes market due to the delays and rising costs in the building industry and of course the challenges of the rental market. Now the fastest selling suburbs in Perth where Greenfields and Palmilia at three days, Balga, Dudley Park and Port Kennedy were at four days and Bertram, Coolangup, Armadale, Carlisle and Leeming were at five days. Now also worth mentioning, eight of the top 10 fastest selling suburbs had median house prices below the Perth median with affordability being a key factor for buyers who are acting quickly when they see value. Now while demand has remained strong in the face of 12 interest rate rises, buyers are definitely more budget conscious. They are factoring in more rate rises and buying within their means. And that's all coming up from River President Joe White. Now the number of properties available for sale in Perth fell to just over 5,000 at the end of June. And this was 4.4% lower than May and 37.5% lower than 12 months ago. Oh my God, there's no stock. Now the River President said there is a lot of talk about undersupply at the moment and whether people are reluctant to sell. New listings traditionally decline over winter months, which is part of what we're seeing at the moment. In addition, we're also experiencing unique market conditions which are proving just as challenging for sellers as they are for buyers or tenants. And this is having some impact on new listings. Now the speed of sales does mean that buyers need to have their finances in order so they can act quickly when they see a property they like. And in most cases, you're just not gonna have time to view a property and circle back to it in a few weeks after seeing what else comes to the market. It's likely to have sold in that time. So let's talk Perth property values. Now Perth property values continue to hold up well. CoreLogic's Perth Home Value Index increased 0.9% in June and 2.8% over the past three months. All major capital city markets continued to improve, but Perth was the only one to show growth over the past 12 months, having recovered from a relatively mild, almost minus 1% decline through last year's downturn. Now, Perth's median house price rose marginally to $551,000 over the 12 months to June. While this was only 0.2% higher than May, it was 4% higher than 12 months ago. Now, according to Reba.com, the top farming suburbs for house price growth in June were Belia up 3% to $625,000. Hammond Park was up 2.6% to $533,500. Dawesville was up 1.9% to $550,000. Coolangup was up 1.8%, $417,500. And Cavisham and Armadale were both up 1.4% to $547,500 and $329,500 respectively. Now, Palmyra, Butler, Waikiki, and Cloverdale all recorded growth over 1%. All right, turning our attention to purse rental markets, more records were broken. Median rents reached new heights in June. The median house price hit a record of $580 a week. This is up from $570 in May and $500 at the same time last year. The median unit price also set a new record. It rose 20 bucks over the month to $520 a week. And this was $80 higher than 12 months ago. Now, purse median dwelling rent price remained unchanged at $550 a week, reflecting a large number of leases around that price. And according to Reba.com data, the suburbs that saw the most growth in their median rent in June were Claremont up 44% to 828 bucks a week, Sorrento up 43% to $1,000 a week, Victoria Park up 33% to 600 bucks a week, Inglewood was up 28% to 600 bucks a week, and West Leadville was up 23% to 750 bucks a week. Now listings for rent, there were 2,146 properties available for rent on Reba.com at the end of June. This is 7.4% increase on May, but it's 5.7% lower than 12 months ago. It is a small change, but an early indication that the rental market is is easing, said River President Joe White. For example, while the number of listings is about 6% lower than in June 2022, this is a big improvement compared to the past few months when it's been about 20% lower year on year. Now, building completions are playing a role in increased listings, and River members are reporting more tenants moving out into their long-awaited new homes, and this is freeing up some supply. We're also seeing an increase in requests for additional occupants as tenants seek to split the rising rent costs, as well as address the difficulty of finding a property in current tight conditions. This is also easing some of the pressure on the market. Now, it took a median of 16 days to lease a rental during May, one day slower than April, and two days slower than three months ago. Now, the slight slowing in the time to fill vacancies is also an indication of a change in the market. We expect to see a slight easing in the vacancy rate soon. Reba.com data showed the suburbs that recorded the fastest median leasing times were Piara Waters, Dayton, and Port Kennedy at nine days, Spearwood, Bassendine, Bull Creek, East Cannington, Comscott, and Thornley at 10 days, and Crawley at 12 days. Well, guys, that's all from me today. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.